Hello my fellow Keyblade wielders and welcome back to another video. I am the Kingdom Key and in today's video for you all we're going to be doing another Kingdom Hearts 4 discussion video. It's been a while since I've done a Kingdom Hearts 4 discussion slash theory video I guess you could say. Uh, so today's video we're going to be talking about how much will we see of the Master of Masters in Kingdom Hearts 4. Now as we know it is known as the Lost Master Arc or the Lost Master Saga, whatever you want to call it, but it does say Lost Master Arc. However, we're going to be t specifically talking about how much screen time and how much will we actually see of the Master of Masters himself and how much involvement will he actually have in Kingdom Hearts 4. Now right off the bat I just want to say I do not think the Master of Masters will be the final boss for this game. It would make no logical sense as it is setting up a new arc, a new saga. So I feel like it's going to flow more towards us having to face off against the Foretellers. As you can see on screen, there's the scene that I'm showing with Lushu at the end revealing himself and talking to the Foretellers and filling them in with his long story of his mission, what happened throughout all the years that they were gone and why they're coming back now and what's happening. So I feel like the Master of Masters as our we're pretty aware of is going to be using the foretellers to find and take on these 13 darknesses however specifically what for we do not actually know but i feel like they're gonna have to take these actual 13 darknesses themselves take them onto themselves and get rid of the darkness somehow because that is something along the lines of what he has mentioned in some previous games such as like union cross so I feel like these darknesses are going to be used and then of course Sora is going to step in and of course try and find a way to defeat these darknesses. Maybe he's the key to helping them rid themselves of that power, that uh, the, one of those 13 darknesses. So I feel like more than anything it will be fighting the foretellers other than the Master of Masters himself. And I also feel like we may have a fight with Lushu and maybe some other enemies that we've seen in previous games. And maybe even Luxord could come into this, but I do feel like this is going to be heavily more themed towards Lushu and the Foretellers than the Master of Masters himself being a final boss. However, I do feel like he will be doing more background based stuff, looking for the box and looking for other additional things that is needed for whatever his grand plan is. How much screen time we will see of him though is kind of unknown as we don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts 4 really, other than it's going to center mainly around Quadratum and Donald and Goofy and everyone else trying to find Sora and bring him back and of course the Master of Masters and the previous people being the foretellers who followed the Master of Masters. So there isn't a lot of information that we know about when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 4 as of now. So when it comes to the Master of Masters specifically having a lot of screen time, I do feel like it will be more background based stuff. Maybe there will be a mini boss fight with him, but it will not be him at his full potential. It might just be kind of like how games have you fight a boss at the beginning or middle section of a game, and then you don't fight them throughout the rest of the game or any of the sequels until a much later sequel based game with that character in. I feel like he's going to be doing more background stuff like finding the box, maybe we'll get a hint as to what's actually in the box or finally see what is in the box, or maybe he's going to ask for his keyblade back from Lushu and travel around other afterworlds or travel around other worlds or maybe even somehow go to the day to daybreak town for something or even bring daybreak town back somehow. This is just all of course a theory and a speculation and discussion based video obviously so you know anything could happen but the Master of Masters being in the game and having a lot of screen time and a lot of fights I don't think so. Another thing that we have to remember is that the Master of Masters had a conversation with Xehanort when he was younger, so young Xehanort, 
about the black coat that he wears because young Xehanort was wearing one and the Master of Masters informed him that Xehanort would no longer be needing it as he isn't afraid of the darkness and will soon be able to walk through the darkness freely as young Xehanort said to him that his plan was to conquer the darkness. But however the Master of Masters did reveal that he needs his coat because he is too much of a wimp of the darkness and he needs his coat in order to ward off the darkness when traveling through the dark realms. So of course he will probably not be taking off his coat in Kingdom Hearts 4. So I don't think in Kingdom Hearts 4 we'll find out or fully see who he is and what he looks like, but we might get a hint as to who the Master of Masters actually is and what his intentions could well be. But again, this is always just a discussion video, and yeah, it's just fun to have these discussions, but I'm going to continue with my next point. Hello there, I'm the Kingdom Key, and welcome back to my channel. I can tell that you're enjoying the video because you're watching, but as you can see by the analytics shown on screen right now, a lot of you aren't subscribed. However, I do appreciate you watching, and I appreciate that support. But why not support me further, because you can subscribe and it's free, and that way you will become a fellow Keyblade wielder. I know you're probably thinking, but I am a Keyblade wielder. No, I'm sorry you're not, you're just swinging a stick around. But that stick can turn into a key- nope, that one is just a stick. But if you subscribe, you become a fellow Keyblade wielder. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you, what are you doing in your spare time, you know? You, you stealing money like Riku did? Or, or are you just sniffing that sea salt sniff sniff right here that I'm showing? So anyway, do me a favor, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate the support, and you know, it's always a good time here, we're always, uh, we're always laughing. <laughs> and also, like the video, we always have a good time here, positive vibes, and I hope that you'll enjoy the rest of the video, and have a great day, may your heart be a guiding key, peace. So what else could we possibly see the Master of Masters doing if he isn't getting involved in any big fights and conflict? Well, my honest opinion and theory is that he's going to go around to other worlds finding these 13 darknesses and giving them to each one of the foretellers that are here. Now of course they won't be 13 darknesses so this is why I think we'll see other characters maybe like Luxord for example and other characters who are now probably human again or just characters that maybe the Master of Masters has known but hasn't let us see yet and make them take the other 13. And as I think it's Ava that's missing from the Foretellers that no one knows about, it's going to be three Darknesses that the three of these Foretellers take on. So he will probably go around to other worlds telling them that they have to take on one of these Darknesses to in order to gain some new power and potential to help him with the rest of his grand plan and they're following him and he's probably going to give them a whole spiel that he's going to find the real Kingdom Hearts or something but in order to do so you will have to obtain these 13 darknesses or one of these 13 darknesses. Again we don't know but I think he's going to play more of a background role and maybe the box is needed for something to maybe locate or entrap one of these 13 darknesses. Well, maybe there is something actually within the box that can be used in order to do something with Kingdom Hearts itself. Then again, this is just my theory going wild. Anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed today's discussion video. How much time do you think the Master of Masters will actually have on screen? I honestly think he'll probably have about maybe 30 minutes or an hour. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, do you think he's going to get too involved or do you agree with me he's going to play more of a background kind of role? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you excited for Kingdom Hearts 4? If so, like the video if you enjoyed today's discussion and feel free to subscribe. There is never Kingdom Hearts content lacking on this channel, so why not subscribe if you love all things Kingdom Hearts? I also want to say thank you all again for your incredible support. Sorry, I know I'm lacking on videos, but I'm trying. Anyway, I hope that you all have a great day. May your heart be your guiding key. Stand up proud, believe in yourself. I know times are probably tough for a lot of people, but keep on believing in yourself and push forward to do things for yourself and others and affect yourself and others positively. Keep on telling yourself positive things because you are worth doing positive things for and you're great for helping other people and helping yourself. Even if others don't know it, you are doing a great deed. Anyway, with that all being said, I hope that you have a great one. I'll catch you all in the next video. 
May your heart be your guiding key. Peace.